What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So Mint Mobile is one of our channel's new partners and we have been talking about them in a few other videos. Today I want to go into detail and show you guys how easy it is to use Mint Mobile in eSIMs as opposed to a physical SIM. For those of you familiar, some devices, including the new iPhone 14 and 15 series here in the US, are eSIM only, and you can now use Mint Mobile with those if you choose to download an eSIM. An eSIM makes things a lot easier. It means embedded SIM, which is exactly that. You can move between devices without needing a physical SIM card, so you don't have to go to a store and buy one or wait for one to get delivered. You can instantly activate it right on your device. There's a couple of different options for Android and iOS devices. They're both compatible, like I said. We're going to use this demo with our Moto Razr Plus that we've been using for a little while, and I love this baby, and I want to show you how quick and simple you can do. This whole video will be less than five minutes, and it'll show you everything you need to know to get going. Let's hop into it. All right, so as you can see here, we have our Moto Razr Plus, and this way will actually work with any Android device, I should say any modern Android device out there, and a couple of callouts. So you can see first things first, no SIM found, look on top, mobile data, no SIM, and if you actually long press it, you can see no SIM here, and you can only add a mobile network. So again, these steps will work with any modern Android device running at least Android 13 or 12 or anything like that. And one thing you could do, it's not required, but you should download the Mint Mobile app. So you just have this installed, ready to go. And one of the things you're gonna need is an email that looks comparable to this, talking about you getting eSIM and you have activated your service. You're gonna wanna scroll down on this email and look right here for install my eSIM. What you're gonna do here is be able to click on this link and it will take you right to Mint Mobile's page where you'll need to find the eSIM to scan. Now, you can see right here, there's iOS and Android instructions. It doesn't matter which one you select if you're just gonna scan the QR code. QR code is the same all around. So, once you're ready, you're gonna go back in to mobile data, add a network, and download a SIM instead. So, you're gonna say yes here. It will give you some pre-populated options. Mint is not listed, so we're gonna say use a different network. And here is where it's asking us for that QR code we were just talking about. So we'll go ahead and scan it. And there we go. And you can see it says use Mint Mobile. One Mint Mobile number is available for this device. And we will say download. So this could take a few minutes. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side. What it's doing is it's downloading the configuration profile and all of the uh, MMS and SMS settings that you need. You can see it says download finished, go to settings to turn on the SIM. So we'll click settings, use SIM, turn on Mint Mobile 2, yes, and you should see service kick right in, right on top, momentarily. And there we go, everything else is provisioned, it showed 7.37 gigs have been used in the last month or so and you can see we are now getting service. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi and you'll see it's loading up Edge. As it goes through its process, it'll go to 4G, LTE, and then obviously you will see uh, 5G or 5G plus depending on your area. So this is that simple. <laughs> you have everything else you need. Everything new is enabled, carrier video calling, automatically selecting networks and everything, and there you go. You can see we've already pulled in 5G+. Plus. It's still going to go through the configuration, so we're not quite in the finish line or crossing the finish line yet, but yeah, it is that easy. And then if we want to go ahead and go try this out, let's just go to Google. There we go. It's working pretty well. Let's try, let's go to Mac Rumors to try, and you can see just how quick that 5G service is. So yeah, pretty easy not too long at all. We did it all within a three minute video. So let us know what you guys think if you've actually used an eSIM with Mint Mobile. Let us know if you sign up. Again, use that affiliate link down below. Mint Mobile is one of our new partners and we are definitely excited to kick off this venture. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.